snow event 17 and I'm on my way to the shop currently 11:37 a.m. and uh, we're down three machines still from our last storm two days ago but I do have some good news we have two brand new machines that are getting picked up today I'll get some clips of that later on for you guys so stay tuned two brand new John Deere 4066 hours that are gonna be picked up from the dealership but uh, yeah we're down three machines our one rental we cracked the rear end in in our last snow event so make sure you watch episode 16 to see what happened there we had uh, one of our 4066 hour fuel injectors fail and possibly some other problems that only had 92 hours on it it was throwing up a bunch of codes like a Christmas tree pretty sad about that but it is what it is and then i got another tractor in my garage a 4066r that uh, blew a shoot cable control so that's going to be fixed today fingers crossed one part came in but i'm waiting for a second part to complete the assembly and then uh, we're off to the races with that machine that'll get fixed tonight and then i got the two brand new machines coming uh so we'll be right back up to par 21 machines so we'll be back full swing 22 rigs in probably the next week or two right now we're down to 18 machines this is the least machines we've had yet this far so pretty upset about that but i mean how could you be it's just part of it right so we're gonna maintain and adapt as best as we can and uh what we're doing is we got five guys going out right now the snow has completely stopped we're gonna go bang like three to four routes out right now clear up a bunch of routes it compensates for having the three missed machines and three missed operators we're just gonna go about our, our normal uh, one two three so dispatch for 3 30 a.m go clean all ends of driveways be done before seven head out again for seven do full laneways with notifications and then fingers crossed we're done by 12 today again guys so that'll be the snow event for today i don't really see any uh issues at this given point we got everybody coming in and we'll have some spare operators because we're down a few machines so yeah we're off to the races i'm stoked i'm hopping in the 6110 m right now uh, i don't drive nothing but it no i'm joking i'll hop in any machine but that is truly my favorite tractor it's been a hell of a time using that machine this year i absolutely love it anyhow we got me nick uh my manager mitchell uh my two shop guys andreas john supervisor Devin we're all heading out right now so we got a good crew of us seven guys going out right now so we're gonna have a bunch of laneways cleared right up when our uh, full staff comes in it's gonna be a breeze it's like three machines never broke so I'm pretty happy that we're uh, we're game planning this way and getting everything cleaned up uh, to compensate for the three machines being down so anyhow guys stay tuned there's gonna be lots of good footage today I'll try and get some GoPro footage in the machine for you guys so please stay tuned for that I'll get some footage uh, myself picking up uh, the two brand new 4066 hours and then whatever the hell sells comes our way because uh, if you guys stay tuned on this channel you definitely see uh, the ups and downs of this business but you know what it's tons of fun I wouldn't ask for anything else so we'll catch you guys in the rest of the video doors be playing it peacefully for the streets to see my nigga have some decency don't move like a poop though could at least keep it a bug like answer to poop i made north of the border like Vito Rizzuto throwing parties in Miami they loving us mucho with the whole ratio I'm like David Caruso there's a mass shortage of people giving me kudos I've been doing this since T-Pain was pouring us nubo you tell them I run the country they'll say Trudeau poppy chulo gripping culo and I got the flows niggas still like poop Toes, you boys reaching new lows. Letting me take the rap for that cast for the ghost shit while you finding all of the loopholes. You niggas move too cold. See the watch collection and assume I got time because of the Ruby Rose two tone. I switch it to the one I call RP Nipsey because I swear to God the bezel got 60 of them blue stones. Maybe I'm getting two stone. Calico the marble for my tombstone. Here lies a nigga that never lied in his new song Or any of his old songs They sing them shits like folk songs Kumbaya, boom by yay Know that I'll stay on me Bad bitches tryna come through and lay on me Try to get the Earl Grey on me But I could've stayed on a the team They played in between the Clouds is hanging over you now Cause I'm reigning supreme Some of these niggas say what they mean It ain't what it seems Had to pull my niggas out the mud Like I'm training Marines You niggas hot to them little kids You ain't famous to me Told y'all I'm aiming straight for the head Not aiming to please I can give a fuck by who designing your sneakers and tees Have somebody put you on a guilt and you play with my seed Trust me, that's some shit you really gotta go see to believe That's why your people not believers, they all leaving you That's why you buying in at a hike to the press feeding you You know the 4-4 four 
off level of jealousy's called medium. Isn't that an ironic revelation? Get that address to your driver, make it your destination. Instead of just a post out of desperation, this me reaching the deepest state of my meditation. Why you over there trying to impress the nation? Minds running wild with the speculation. Why the fuck we peacemaking doing the explanations? If we just gonna be right back in that bitch without hesitation. But let me digress on behalf of the association. I'll play it cool with you, Denmark and nigga like Copenhagen. See they getting loose with the line like open cages. In a lot Ferrari, my emotions racing. Dance, not a condo, ocean bathing. Niggas texting, bro, but we are not in no close relation. I was down to get these niggas credit, but hold the payment. Somehow I'm the greatest in the game to my own amazement. The greatest in the world, there's no debating. You boys about to will me to defeat like we rollerblading. Far as the Drake era, man, we in the golden ages. Look at the total wages. And look at the heroes falling for grace in their older ages If we talking top three, then you been sliding a third like stolen bases Toss around rollies with the frozen faces They used to tell me back in the day, boy, you going places Never understood why I could really take it Yo takes one operator close to six hours to do we got three operators on it and we're close to done two hours so fleet has been dispatched currently 4 a.m right now we're about to go do our first pass and then hit our second pass for 7 a.m we did start earlier like i was saying we had a crew of seven men come in including myself and we started at 12 hit all our first driveways for about 12 15 12 20 and uh, we cranked out four routes in like three hours uh, just with a whack load of us it was it was pretty cool to be honest and um it was very vital considering we are down three machines so i'm happy we did that um uh, went extremely well we still have quite a bit of season left a good month and a half anyhow maybe even two and um i'm really thinking about implementing two full passes as opposed to just doing one ends pass between four and seven just doing the end of our customer driveways for the college, um, and then going at 7 a.m to do full pass notifications i want to start around 2 a.m and commence a, a full pass uh, with all my men and then hit another full pass for 7 a.m give everybody that nice two full pass experience that's one thing i really want to work on next five centimeter snowfall it's a little bit lighter uh, i'm going to test it see how it goes just for shits um, if it works and we're quick enough because that's been our biggest bottleneck um, is that we haven't been quick enough that's why we haven't done the two full passes we strive for it at the beginning of the season but it just didn't work like we took way too long we were like 14 hours plus out there and it's just not fair to the operators not fair to the customers and it just it doesn't work so we're gonna try two full passes we'll start at, uh, have a full pass done by seven um, and then uh, hit another full pass so we more cars to park or if there's snow or if there's craters that have gone by etc so that's my plan for next snow event uh, I'm gonna implement the two full pass system that's really on my mind we'll see how we're getting and of course having a couple extra machines come 
coming after everything's fixed up and we're at 22 machines healthy um we'll go and we'll, we'll hammer the two pass so calls for five centimeters friday hopefully we have all our machines ready to go and we can implement it then that'd be amazing another thing i really want to work on too is i gotta improve this goddamn scrape quality it's bugging the hell out of me my plan is to start running all stainless steel edges. Like I said, I talked to a good friend of mine in the industry and uh, he does 7,500 laneways with all stainless on all his machines and it works well for him. He gets next to none for damages. I'm gonna try implementing that and getting these driveways scraped down and clean a little bit better. But that's on uh, the agenda for uh, some new plans of attack uh, for us. But uh, for the most part, we're doing significantly well. Yeah. It's been a good uh, a good morning thus far. We still got a lot of hours ahead of us. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> we had the tractor come back to the shop here. Joe's machine went down. The fan actually blew right through the back door. You could see where it was scratching right there. And we're like, what the hell? There was a bunch of play in it. We're like, what the fuck's going on with this fan? And then we went and we looked and there was no bolt in here. So John just put a nice brand new bolt with a washer on there. We're going to get that all tightened up with the the impact then he's back on his way so that's problem one of the day actually it's problem two eh? didn't the pto shaft fall off on somebody's blower PTO yeah it's not shaft. i've never seen that happen either but Somebody quick blower wouldn't lift quick fix yeah it's just the usual song and dance it's not even 7 a.m yet fuck got the old 130 just pulled up to the shop here big ryan hewitt on the move how'd she go You've been going since 11 a.m.? Yeah. And it's, it's like what, 12 in the afternoon? 300 something driveways, I beg to differ, try 500. Well, you do some of them twice. Yeah, you do some of them twice, I guess that's fair. All in all, good go. How you like this beast? I like this one. Yeah. It's one of my favorite tractors. One, one of your favorite? It's one of the oldest tractors. It's, old. it's one of my favorite. It's actually our oldest. It's our oldest, 2017, and uh, it's one of my favorite as well. Yeah, big old shifter in it. You love it. It's fun times, man. Okay, take it easy. Got a few of the rigs back. And we're all done for the day. 12 o'clock right now. Made great timing once again. I'm cleaning off the flat deck right now and then I'm heading out to North Shore. So both brand new 4066 R's are all fixed, ready to go. And uh, we also have our one tractor that had the blown fuel injector is also fixed. We're taking home three today, baby. So I'm heading out there right now, gonna load up and then uh, I'm gonna head back with two machines and then I'm gonna go back to pick up the third. Yeah, I'll be doing some running around for a bit. Dealership's uh, 45 minutes outside of town, so I'll be doing the turn and burns and uh, get all these machines home safe and sound. Get the blowers hooked up and get them snow ready for the next event. Let's do it. And there's the two brand new units, all built, ready to go. I'm missing a couple of tractors out of the fleet. Uh, I got two inside the shop. We're looking at 22 tractors total secured. Most amount of machines we ever had. It's very exciting. Uh, I didn't get to wrap up uh, my video um, for Snow Event 17. And uh, what I ended up doing uh, when I was on the trailer there, this is two days after, by the way, I went out to North Shore, picked up uh, the one tractor that had uh, the fuel injector problem. It actually wasn't a fuel injector problem. It was just a stupid fuse that was like tucked in underneath the machine, like not even in the fuse panel area. I'll try and get a clip of that to show you guys. Very, very awkward uh, position of where they put this fuse and it's only one singular fuse. But anyhow, got that expedited, came back home, brought that tractor, had to go back out there, pick up another one. 
brought it home and by that time it was like 6 p.m and i was up since 11 p.m the night before so um it was like a good 18 hour plus shift and uh i said you know what screw that i'm gonna shut it down and get some sleep because it looks like we're gonna be going out in the morning to uh, go clean the ends of our customers driveways we ended up not having to do that yesterday which was beautiful so i got up early headed out to north shore for when they opened picked up our third machine and now we got 22 units we're looking really good right now we're just doing some uh, mechanical work getting everything all fixed up and ready to go for our next snow event we're also going to be implementing a new game plan kind of like a new plan of attack if you will and i'm quite excited about it so we're going to be commencing two full passes which is what we've strived for since the beginning of the season i probably mentioned that earlier in this video but i'm definitely really excited to try it out we're going to have all the guys come to the shop for 1 30 a.m we're going to be starting at two and then we're going to go make a full pass not just the ends of our customers driveways a full pass hopefully we're going to be done by seven fingers crossed i'm going to be out on the road too we're going to have all 22 machines out production will be quite quick uh, for the most part we're going to commence the second pass at 7 a.m doing full laneways again even if there was no cars in the driveway overnight and uh, the, the vehicles were moved and the driveways cleaned on the second pass i don't even want to skip it we're going to hit it again right get it all scraped down for our customers anyhow guys uh thank you for staying tuned on snow event 17 i really appreciate it we'll catch you guys in the next one make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications thank you so much